I'd, I'd like to go back to your life history a moment. We got you as far as about 1975 when you were working on the Today Show and rapidly becoming the best known physician probably in the world at that time. Uh, and you used that prominence to pursue some very noble and large objectives. One of them was the creation of Cable Health Network. Right. Can you say a little bit about how that idea came into existence and your assessment of what happened? Now they can turn to Cable Health Network. It's for everyone who takes an active role in his own health and total well-being. Never before has television attempted to provide this kind of straightforward, in-depth programming on a continuing basis. It was a great idea uh, that was that came before its time, and uh, and it uh, I, I really believed uh, in the power of television to transform lives in a very constructive way. And uh, I uh, was introduced quickly. I was very fortunate to meet Jeffrey Reese, who had uh, founded Showtime Network and uh, was looking for his next challenge. And uh, together, uh, against all odds, I mean, I look back now and I just can't believe that we did it, but against all odds, in uh, June of 1981, uh, we put a 24-hour day network on the air with... Uh, with, <laughs> with ridiculous capital, the amount of money that would be spent on one network show today. We were on the air 24 hours a day. Uh, the, the programs were very well received. The problem is there weren't enough people around to receive them to pay the bills. Uh, people don't remember in this day and age, we take it for granted that uh, you put on television program, you've got uh, 75, 80 million homes around. But in those days, there were only 4 million cable homes that we had access to. And we had to try to finance the programming for a 24-hour-a-day network with 4 million homes. It was uh, simply not financially possible. So, what happened next? Well, uh, uh, the folks that uh, controlled the finances uh, basically gave Jeffrey and me the boot and uh, moved the network in a different direction, uh, which was a smart move because I, we, we could not have survived otherwise. The network became lifetime. And now instead of a niche network just for health enthusiasts, it became a woman's network. Uh, the, uh, there was a medical component to it, as you well know, you led that medical component for physicians only, uh, but that soon was sacrificed also uh, uh, in the name of finances. And uh, I, my own, my personal belief is that uh, today with the massive uh, cable penetration, uh, the number of homes that have cable television, this would have been a viable uh, business entity. Could not have been done for the small amount of money, but would have been a viable enterprise. 